Hi, my name is Sadia, and in this video, let's understand how to manage metrics and how to apply them in VW. Once a metric is created, you can modify or clone the same based on your need. In addition to that, you can also archive a metric that you no longer use. To do these operations, click on the metric that you wish to work on and perform the required operations. Please note that a metric once created cannot be deleted. It can only be archived. Altering the definition for an existing metric will result in data flush for all the campaigns linked to the metric. To edit, click on the vertical three dots and select edit, make the required changes and click on save. To clone, click on the three dots again, select the clone option, enter the metric name, apply required details and click on save. To archive, click on the three dots again and click on the archive option. A confirmation pops up, click on the archive button. Upon archiving, the metric appears under the archived metric section, that is towards the end. Now let's take a look at applying metrics to the campaigns. Metrics can be applied to campaigns to track the conversions of events. They can be applied to multiple campaigns at once and will be accessible to all users of the workspace with campaign creating or editing access. To apply metrics to your A-B test or your personalized campaign, click on create and provide your campaign details, create your changes accordingly, and then switch towards the metrics page, which looks like this. Here, you can add your primary metric and you can add your secondary metric too. The primary metric is one based on which VW declares a variation as a winner or a smart decision. Both section features the metrics that you've created in Data360 module. You can search for a metric by providing the name here. If you require creating a metric right at the moment of creating a campaign, click on Create New Metric and enter the details just like we did in Data360. You can also save this for future uses too. Thank you for watching.